All right, Carly. Well, we may be using social media every day. Research shows it is not making us feel good in the long run. 60% of people using social media report an impact on their self esteem. Yeah, and joining us this morning with how we can stay on the positive side of social media is motivational speaker Rich Bracken. Good morning. Always good to have you on the show. So good to see y'all. So, what do you think is causing this with social media and people having, you know, low mental health? Well, and social media is the best and worst thing in the world. And I think people that use social media as a mirror instead of a window are really causing the mm. problem and also people that are using it as a megaphone instead of a conversation starter. So when we talk about using it as a mirror instead of a window, people are comparing themselves way too much yeah. to what's going on in social media instead of just observing what's going on. Yeah. And it, the statistics are startling. You've got over 80% of kids are being cyber bullied because of this comparison factor. Mm. But then also when it talk, you talk about adults, 65% of men and 87% of women feel body shamed on social media. Mm. So they are, we're really struggling with the fact that we're trying to compare ourselves to what we're seeing online, whether it's legitimate or not, or whether it's filtered or not. We're really suffering in that sense. Mm. What do you think the first step is protecting? I think it's all curating who you follow and who's following you. And mm. it's not just who you're following, but sometimes when we look back at our followers list, people that are following us, those are the people that may be chiming in on your content that are dosing their little negativity in your world. And so we can curate that. You can control that. And a lot of times people will say, well, I don't want to dis, you know, I don't want to ban somebody. Or I want to block somebody from my social media account because they'll get mad at me. Well, you could let them stay and let them contribute negativity going forward. So really figuring out why you're on social media, who you're following, and who's following you is the first step. And so that, what that, that looks like, what, I mean, what does that look like? So I guess maybe losing all of your political uh, stuff that you follow and maybe just follow, I don't know, sports? Well, I mean, well, sports can be political too these it days. Could be, like, I think know? anything could be political, yeah. these, especially right. over this time of year right now. <laughs> but I think it really it depends on what you're there for. If you're there to learn more about how to get healthy, make sure you're following people that have really good, valid advice that are doing it in a very positive way. Or if you're trying to improve your relationships or your financial status, you can follow those kinds of content. There's tons of content out there that's worthwhile following. But it's when we get into those really heavy, vitriol, very negative, yeah. very aggressive accounts, that's yeah. when things start taking a turn for the worse. One last note about this. I'm yeah. sorry for interrupting, yeah. Kristen, but I, I have heard some people have done this. as a, they have, They've trimmed down their social media mm -hmm. context, specifically who they follow, and made it all like, you know, like puppy dogs. You know, like I follow only dog channels now. And right their mood improved. Any, anybody who follows puppies and is still in a bad mood, we have to have a bigger conversation right, about what's right. going on. So, right, follow puppies, champagne, <laughs> vacations. Like, do those things where you're following positive content that's bringing you into a good mood or something that's going to inform you in a positive way. Don't yeah. follow things that are going to make you feel bad about yourself. Yeah, okay. absolutely. And what can people do to post more positive content online? Yeah, I, I think the biggest thing, I learned this the other day, is that when you have the mentality of posting without any kind of likes, comments, views, because people get so caught up in what other people are doing with their content. So for instance, if you post to 100 people, if you have 100 people following you, the algorithm is only probably going to show it to about 3 to 4% of those people. So if you're posting content and you're hoping that everybody that follows you loves your content, you're going to be dis disappointed every single time. So post without the need for likes. Post without the need for comments. Uh, Matt Reif, the comedian, says that social media should be our art. Go create your art, go do, have fun, create content, create videos, but quit worrying about who sees it and quit mm. worrying right. about the likes and comments. Mm. Yeah, great advice. Yeah, yep. and you mentioned something about, uh, I guess, blocking people and people noticing that. You could also mute people if yes. you would like to mute their stories or mute their posts. Yes. Um, and they will never know. Exactly. But, and it won't come up on your page if you feel like they're negative. Right. And, and too, and the nice thing, too, is that they're not notified that you've muted them. Yes. And I can't tell you how many people I've muted. And people say, well, why don't you just block them anyway? Well, you could. But at the same time, there are some people that have, I'll call, the seasons of negativity, mm -hmm. where sometimes they get a little bit more negative about something, and then they kind of come back to the center. So making sure yeah. that you're muting the people that you don't want to completely disconnect from, but hey, feel free to block people. It is your social media, it's your attention, it's your energy, and it's your content. Yeah. Do whatever you need to do yeah. to protect yourself. Yep. Hey, if somebody wants to follow you on social media and all of your negativity, where can they find I you? I am hateful all day long. Like, if you want any kind of, like, negativity, come to my page. Go to richbracken.com to feel worse about yourself. No. You can find me at richbracken.com. I've got positive content. I promise positive content, positive music, positive videos, all kinds of positivity. So block the negativity. Come yes. see me on richbracken.com. We tease because we like you. All right? Uh, trust me, I know. Rich, thanks so much for being on so the show. Good to see you all. Coming up.